Well, it is uh, the next session uh, about tankers, and let's see, we're going to talk about, uh, still of course related to ship construction, part of a tanker, and part of the tanker that you need to know about, and I want to focus on this material here, it's going to be something called IGS and vapor recovery. It's part of the tanker system, it's part of the piping system that you need to know about. Uh, the previous time we got together, I spoke about cargo piping systems, talked about how tankers are loaded and discharged, and uh, you, uh, I think I explained that pretty well. There was some pretty other good stuff on YouTube that, that are anywhere, you know, between five and ten minutes of uh, almost an animated version that I, I didn't want to include that necessarily. I don't want to overdo, I don't want to flood you with, uh, with videos that, you know, you need to watch. You have to watch enough just, you know, with me and uh, what I do, and I know you've got other professors uh, happening and doing the same kind of type of stuff, so I'm trying to keep it down to a dull roar. But what I want you to know about is something called uh, inert gas system, IGS, and vapor recovery. I'm going to pause a little bit, I'm going to switch out the camera, and I uh, want you to focus in just a minute. So. Here's the uh, really short version. So we got a tanker, uh, there's some oil here in a tank, and there is some vapor, and it is an explosive vapor. I don't know if you've ever experienced the vapors that come off gasoline and how explosive they are. Uh, someday you can tell me about some bad experiences you had probably, you know, just doing what I'll just call stupid stuff. But that is dangerous stuff. The vapor above the gasoline, the oil in the tank, it can form a very explosive and flammable uh, situation. I, I don't want to overdrive, dramatize this effect, effect, but you know, this is what happens. And you've seen the videos of, uh, of fires and explosions at tankers and refineries, or even you know for gas stations in that matter. You know, it, it is a it is a dangerous combination, and it's not so much the liquid down here; it's the explosive vapor that evaporates off the top of the oil and gets up into here to this space. Clearly, the if if the tank is a hundred percent full. If the tank is 100% full, now get that, it's actually less dangerous and less explosive than if it's partially full. So, what do we do? We go into something called inert gas. We want to replace that explosive atmosphere above the oil and we want to place it, replace it with something called an inert gas that is not. We want to we want to change that atmosphere by adding a non-combustible, non-explosive gas into that situation and change that atmosphere so that we can avoid this. I'll just kind of dramatize that. We can get that particular thing out of the way. And now we have a much safer ship. Now this is done, inert gas is done on, whenever you have a, a really big tank, like like on a tanker. Now this is a, a you know, a one tank ship that's not realistic but uh, whether or not you're carrying product or you're carrying crude oil you're going to be using inert gas and it's part of that piping system it's also going to happen that you're going to be using inert gas back at the refinery or the the, the tanks which are having that uh, that uh, product in it back at the tank farm on the shore side so it's happening it's not happening you don't have an inert atmosphere like in your um, in your vehicle, in your truck or your car, even if it's a big industrial vehicle, you're not going to have that. It's only going to be on the big transportation type stuff. Now I've posted a six, almost seven minute video, and here's just sort of a snapshot on it. And it's called the Alpha Laval system for producing high quality inert gas for cargo ships. I'm going to insist that you watch it and we'll talk about that in discussion. So that is posted in the uh, playlist for NS102 ship structure. You'll see that on my YouTube and I have attached that and so you can you can take a look at it. So we are talking about here 
we're talking about putting again, it's a, you know, just think what I just had in my drawing. I'm talking about this area, the tank area of the ship, and we're replacing that with an inert gas um, above, uh, above the fuel. So make sure you look at that and then we'll get back to it in the class. The next thing we're going to talk about is a vapor recovery system. Vapor recovery, yeah. It's, relate, it's right next to a inert gas system, but this is called vapor recovery. And so this, this has, a, it's, it's very, very much related to the inert gas. Uh, we are not talking about a liquid. We're talking about a, we're talking about a gaseous state, but this is the vapor recovery. And it kind of works in combination. So this is what we're going to focus on now. I'll tell you a little bit um, about it as we go along. Uh, you're familiar with it, with some of the vehicles that you drive. Uh, you may have noticed that when you go to uh, certain gas stations in certain part of the country, the gas nozzles look a little bit different than the other nozzles in other places. You know, if you've ever seen that gas nozzle that looks like this, and uh, here's the trigger, and uh, here's, the, here's the body of it, and then the gas nozzle comes out, and that's where you plug it into your car. And here's the trigger down here. If you've ever noticed this boot, this rubber boot around that gas nozzle, you are seeing sort of the final stage of the vapor recovery system. This stuff right here. Because what happens as the liquid flows through this system and goes into your vehicle, right, what happens, there is gas coming out, and I'm talking about vapors, a vapor recover is that tank is being filled up out of the gas tank is vapor coming up here and this is actually an inner and an outer special purpose and so on the outside of it the vapor recovery is coming up and it's the fluid is going into your tank and I'll show the fluid as red this is the gasoline going into your car Right. and then coming back up on the perimeter. And that's what that rubber boot for is to, is to make a seal all the way back down this line, all the way back into the tank, you know, underground at your gas station. Not every state has that. So here's the product going into your car and here's the, here's the flammable vapors coming out. Now remember, at the little gas station or in your car, you don't have that inert gas. You don't have the, uh, the inert gas system that we talked about. You just have, you just have this vapor recovery system. But what you need to understand is that's happening at every level of the system. I will, I'll, I'll put this one up here. You see, we have vapor recovery in every particular, every system that we can talk about. We've got We've got vapors here, we've got vapors here, and even in this truck, we've got vapors down here. In every place, every part of the system. And I just talked about how in a gasoline tank in a vehicle, you're gonna have a vapor recovery system. They're gonna have a vapor recovery system in this tank as well. And you're also, and most important to us, we're gonna have a vapor recovery system in a similar kind of way, in a much grander scale than what we talked about in the vehicle. We're gonna have a, a vapor recovery system here as well. And uh, you're gonna learn more about that in tanker operations. So this is just a, a short introduction to the sort of the concept of that, but you're gonna get more. Now, I do have I got another YouTube video, which I'm going to assign you to watch. That's going to be posted and I'll show you what that looks like. So you'll recognize it. Stand by. This is the uh, vapor recovery as it's spoken, spoken about in one illustration. It was hard to find a really good short. And you know, this is one minute, 15 seconds. I bet you can find time in your, in your day to do that. Yeah. I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, but 
you know, watch this and you'll see at least part of the concept. I'll sort of click up through it. We're not going to play it here, but there's the oil tank and there's the, uh, there's the, you know, where it's uh, drilled, uh, you know, down on the, and there's the vapors up inside the tank. And uh, those, those particulars are what's called, they're being compressed and they're being put back into a pipeline. And I think I'm going to ask you what happens to those vapors back there at the drilling process when they have those storage tanks and it's the beginning of the uh, the beginning of the process i'm going to ask you what maybe what happens to those so keep an eye out for those two videos and be watching those now remember everybody remember that it's two different systems there's the inert gas system and there is the vapor and the vapor recovery system and the vapor recovery system applies to all these things so that pretty much uh, that pretty much takes care of that part and I'll just uh, come back I do have a I do have a few things that I want to keep talking about um, these are kind of housekeeping things regarding the class you may have heard me refer to the fact that um, I've uh, I've tried to organize a little bit the, of the um, uh, YouTube video and so I try to do some housekeeping this morning uh, every day I learn a little bit about a YouTube channel uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's interesting to say the less, uh, least um, so I've had I've got two playlists just, just so it's pretty uh, a lot more cut and dry I've got an NS 102 playlist where all of the files that we want for this course are there and then and then uh, you know I've got one I've got another playlist up which is um, it's not related to the school or class but it's just my personal one although I have shared that with you and that's called family and friends and there's a um, well this is an interesting thing um, because I got more of you watching me draw puppies than are actually perhaps watching now I'm not getting a whole lot of comments but you know, some of you saw me uh, draw that for some family members, and then I published another one today. So, you know, feel free to comment about my artist artistic ability. But I do find it amusing that I'm getting, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70 views out of the class for, uh, for uh, you know, various lectures that are particular towards the class. But I'm getting almost an equal number and growing fan base, which I believe is not my two grandchildren watching it over and over again. I think it's mostly you, so somewhat disturbing, but apparently you enjoy it. So, um, you know, maybe I need to start drawing sketches for you. So, you know, I could draw pictures of boats. Um, uh, uh, you tell me what you... <laughs> all right. Well, you know, I like you all, so we're going to call it a day. <laughs> and... Um, I worry about you and I think about you and um, you know I get up every day and I think about where you are all over the country and um, all I can say is uh, just be safe and be smart and do all the stuff you're supposed to do and don't go see anybody right it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough three four five weeks it's just gonna be tough I hope I see all of you back soon we'll certainly be back at the end of the at the end of the summer we'll, we'll be back and uh, i'm going to look forward to you uh, at that point but for right now hold fast be good and we'll talk to you later bye bye